For about 15 minutes from the time of the explosion, in mission control, we did not have a clue what had happened. On the shift earlier, early in the same shift, we had had two electrical power glitches. And uh, immediately, as soon as that happened, I thought, you is, uh, it's another glitch. We'd seen them in many times in flight. We're going to solve this quick once we get the crew to sleep, get back on track. About five minutes later, uh, one of my controllers uh, comes to me and he says, Flight, we're seeing a lot of jet activity, and the crew reported a big bang associated with this. And immediately I moved from, okay, we're going to solve the problem quick now to tread uh, carefully lest you're going to end up in a lot of trouble. Uh, because I had had the same thing happen to me on Apollo 9 when we undocked from the spacecraft that closed a lot of jet valves. And on the third phase, when you move now into survival mode, is when Jim Lovell calls down from the spacecraft and says, Hey, Houston, see some kind of a gaseous substance out there. I believe we are venting our oxygen. And now, survival mode. We're looking into the eyes of the tiger. <coughs> so I'll, I'll back you up a little bit. At the, at the time of the explosion, I was, uh, had been putting away uh, stuff we had pulled out. We had done a TV show, kind of a show and tell thing. Uh, had picked things that we knew previous crews or missions had not discussed before uh, with the public. And uh, I was still putting stuff away and was fixing the head back up when this happened. There was a loud bang. Uh, you have to realize the spacecraft, are, they're metallic, so it's like you're sitting inside uh, metallic drums. So there's this loud bang. In the tunnel area where I was, the metal actually crinkled uh, with two spacecraft were attached from the dynamics of the, the rotation of the command module from the, the shock of the explosion. It put enough rotational force it was bending metal in the tunnel area, kind of popping noise. And very quickly, though, that settled out. It, it uh, hit the end of its travel and the, the forces that had been imparted, and it kind of rocked back, and everything was back to normal in that respect. Uh, when I quickly uh, floated up and got into uh, the right couch <coughs> position, which unfortunately, like Psy, had most of the problem area in front of it, uh, the electric power, the cryogenics, uh, fuel cells, uh, it, was, it was really the, the, the biggest emotion initially was confusion because also the caution and warning array, that's an array of lights about that big, a uh, number of lights, some are red, uh, which generally means something bad, and then <laughs> other lights are like an orange-yellow color that are caution lights that are something not right but not so bad. Well, there were seven of those lights on plus a master alarm, plus a blue computer restart light. And this was something we had never seen in any simulations. And we did lots and lots of simulations with Mission Control Link, where there was an insidious, devious group called SimSoup that every one of these would impart failures and try to trick us, make us look bad. That was their, their greatest uh, hope. And so we've been through really hundreds, thousands of hours, and through the missions, thousands of hours of this kind of training, and nothing had ever resembled this. Uh, the next thing that I noticed on looking at the uh, quick scan of the instruments was the meters for the uh, oxygen tank two, the needles for uh, pressure, temp, and quantity were all down in the bottom of that meter. So I knew right away that was a big problem. We had, we had lost that tank because those were separate sensors and could not, would not, you wouldn't unlikely have three sensors go at the same time. Uh, my feeling then went to, just almost instantly, to a sick feeling in, a stiff, in my stomach because I, I knew we, that was an abort and we had lost the mission. Uh, it's because at that time I, I didn't think it was life-threatening. We still had the second <coughs> oxygen tank and we'd have just done a, kept everything powered up and uh,